I'm starting to feel a little bit more like myself. Two days in a row, I got confused on time. Like, I thought I'd slept through the night and I would wake up and I would have breakfast and then I would look out the window and the sun would be in the wrong place. That is so disorienting when you wake up thinking it's like 6.30 a.m., you know, and you're like, feeling refreshed you know well that was that, that part wasn't true I was still exhausted it just felt like I was sleeping I did I slept for like 18 hours for three straight days day before yesterday I tried to get out for a little while and I walked like four blocks to my friend's store and I sat there and I practiced some of my stuff while he DJed for me, so that was fun. But he's a Jupiter and Leo, so he's so up his own ass that, like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. He, he could, he could be fun. We share a philosophy on the environment. Actually, we share a lot of philosophy, but he's 25, so I'm not really going to waste a lot of time trying to train him. Even though that would make me a good feminist, I know I should be making men better lovers, but Ugh, God, I just don't care. Anyway, so then yesterday I thought, hey, genius, the ocean is healing. I went and I wrapped my arm in, um, a garbage bag and I thought I was going to this spot where it's typically pretty calm no but I did get to see some sea turtles that was exhausting so I'm gonna spend the day here just resting um, I have to do laundry I have to do laundry but then I realized I was like damn that's gonna hurt the person I have to ask to help me, I don't want to ask, so I have to take space from Sirk, and I have to tell you why. If you have watched the video, the moment my Iris goes in the bag, I become furious. Like, I watched the video, and as I was watching it, as the moment that happened, I was like, I became more angry. We have to have better Occupy training. I mean, there are some things that just... I mean, even in times of getting your ass kicked, by a cop, you can still think strategically. I personally think stubbornly, like I'm not going to assist you in this injustice, but in times of witnessing, you think strategic. No, though, so I'm, and I'm realizing the parallels of resentment, the mirrors of resentment, and that that has created in myself and where I'm resenting myself and I can acknowledge it it's when my Mimi was in the nursing home and I didn't get her out of it so I go for a follow-up appointment for physical stuff which I think I just need this recasted and then rewrapped because it's hard and um I really feel like I need something for this other hand because it hurts if I use it. Oh, I might have an infection in my foot. Ocean water did. Well, maybe the ocean help pulled it out. So thank you, ocean, for any loving. But I have an appointment with a therapist next Tuesday. And Reiki 2 starts Saturday, so that's really going to help just
practicing my symbols, which I can do for I can do for a little while, but you know, using my hands hurt it. Well, I try not to use this left one at all. I, I've learned how to use my arm to hold stuff so I can open. But, um, man, there was a minute, there was, and I'm lost in days right now, but there was a window of time where I was just like kind of out of it numb. Like I'm looking back. And that's when, that's when you miss friends who know you. Because the friends who know you, they know how to respond with movies and cupcakes. And that's when I miss people who know me know me like know me know me know me and know my signs and my cries for help even if But I guess we have to be that for ourselves. Because we can't count on people to do that for us. So I'm... Um, I'm sleeping anyway. I don't even want to watch a movie. Whatever. I have to walk to the store, which is literally across the street and up the block, but it feels so daunting. And I have to get my money, my quarters, so I can do my laundry, because in a short span of three days, my room has become so disorganized that I can't stand it. I just saw a huge truck, like one of those macho trucks, you know, that has like big tires and it's like really big, like you need a ladder to climb in it. But it was, it's like a normal one that like people can drive on the street, not like one for shows. But it was like a big one and it had hot pink rims. But it was a guy driving it. That gives me hope for humanity. That totally gives me hope. That someone like that exists in the world gives me hope. I get really down on humanity for a minute. Hey, 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 irony. Is this irony? I can't think right yet, so don't English literature me. I was watching Twitter. You know, I read Twitter for news. It's like you can get all your news right there because they just constantly update. Anyway, I was watching it. And the same station that tweeted out about the shelter that I went to take supplies to tweeted that another shelter was freaking out and people were outraged because they didn't have supplies. They didn't have enough. And I was like, funny, I was just assaulted and arrested at a different shelter for trying to give supplies.
Once I'm out of my crying spell, I might be shaving my head again. Who knows where this is going to go. Oh, it makes me so mad. Thank my lucky stars for Reiki. Anyway, I'm going to chill and finish my coffee. Love you. Hugs to the kids. And I know I have to move in slow to turn this video off. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.